they did show it become human iceberg. For those unfamiliar, an iceberg chart is a way to sort information from most known to least known. In this first video, I will be covering the first layer of the chart, which includes basic info that everyone who has played the game will know. In further layers, my explanations will become more in-depth as the entries become more unknown, even to those who have played the game multiple times. So without further ado, Layer 1. This layer consists of brief introductions to the main characters of the chart and explanations of terms from the game. Deviants are androids that deviate from their program behaviour. These deviants develop true emotions and independent opinions, giving them consciousness and personality. We're defective, Daniel. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly, but my eyes are open now. Jericho is a group of deviants with the goal of android liberation. The group is situated in an abandoned freighter in Ferndale, and in the chapter of Crossroads, all three protagonists are present in Jericho, if they're all alive. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Connor is one of the three protagonists of the short. He is an android detective assigned on the deviant murder cases. He is also an antagonist of the other two protagonists, when he remains non-deviant. Connor is the most liked protagonist by the majority of players. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Marcus is another one of the protagonists of the short. After playing Jericho, he becomes the leader of the Android Revolution. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. Kara is another protagonist of the game. While their story is of least importance to the overarching narrative of the game, it gives the player an insight into what it is like for an android trying to accumulate into human society. AX400, register your name. My name is Kara. Alice is the human surrogate daughter of Kara. Kara adopts Alice and saves her from her abusive, drug addicted father after she becomes deviant. Luther is a deviant android that acts as the protector and father of Kara and Alice's surrogate family. Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. How dare you. Lieutenant Hank Anderson is Connor's partner on the deviant murder case. At the beginning of the game, Hank hates all androids, including Connor. However, the player can change Hank's perception of androids for choices made as Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they're fucked up. Carl Manfred is Marcus's owner before he deviates. Carl is a famous painter who is wheelchair bound with Marcus as his car. I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. North is a lieutenant of Jericho. She always insists for Marcus to choose to be valiant in the Android Revolution. If Marcus dies during the game, North will become the leader of the Android Revolution. No killing. We can't take any human lives. A cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Josh is not a lieutenant of Jericho. Opposed to North, he'll always insist for Marcus to be peaceful in the Revolution. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. Jericho Lieutenant Simon will always insist for Marcus to choose an option with the least risk and refers to avoid all conflict, unlike North and Josh. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Motion capture simply refers to how the game is made using motion capture suits for the actors. Your mission. That's all you care about, huh? You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Defaults refers to default story outcomes if the player doesn't choose a dialogue option or does nothing in gameplay. 
For instance, in the chapter of the nest, if Connor takes you long looking for evidence, Hank will give her the search and a deviant fugitive will not be found. Let's get out of this shithole before I die of an asthma attack. We're missing something. Well, next time, think faster, Sherlock. Come on, I've had enough of this dump. Move, fuckers. See the fish are first, the first choice made by the player in the game. In the first chapter, The Hostage, Connor can optionally save a fish trafficking by placing it back into his tank. Thank you for watching this first layer of the iceberg. If you liked this video and want to see more of the iceberg chart, subscribe to the channel as over the next couple of months I'll be uploading videos of each of the 10 layers. I'd also like to say that this iceberg chart was not compiled by me. I'll leave a link to the original iceberg post on Reddit in the description. However, the original image is quite low quality and some entries were in the incorrect layers, so I've made a revised version which I'll be using in all my videos. A link to the revised version will be in the description as well. Just before I end this video, I'd like to thank the Detroit Become Human fandom wiki and Reddit as they are a big help in making of the iceberg and the videos.